What's up, rockers from all across the world? Band of PR, horns up, all the way from Michigan. I was in his town last time. Yeah. His neck of the woods. Now he's in my neck of the woods. <laughs> Fonzo, heart sick, 1720. L.A. Dude, you haven't been here in over a fucking decade. Yeah, it's been a long time, man. We haven't been to L.A. and shit, man. The last time we were in L.A. was 2007. Yeah, 2007. Uh, we won the Ernie Ball Battle of the Bands. Uh, and they flew us out. And we played the Key Club. And it was... Hey, Key Club. OGs no Key Club. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, us, MXPX. Nothing more. MXPX. That's OG name. Nothing more before they were ever anybody. <laughs> and like some other bands. I don't remember who, but it was sick. It was cool. Damn. So what did you guys do out here so far? Like what? when you, you were in uh, Cyprus, right? Staying yeah, we area? were staying in Cyprus. And we uh, just went to like the beach and stuff. Just like saw uh, Seal Seal Beach. Seal Beach, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Beach, Seal Beach area. Yeah, yeah. Just went around there. Took you guys a little... hit any breweries? You had you had Ballast Point Brewery? No, no we haven't uh, had any breweries yet. So, yeah, we just chilled, man. Just kind of hung out and, and did our thing, you know? Well, dude, so it's like you guys play. This is a new pop in venue. Seventeen twenty was built like five years ago. Okay, I think, five four years ago. Okay, and uh, I forgot what part, but one of the members of Necrogoblicon owns this. Oh yeah, yeah, that's so, crazy. So it's that band like, is sick. Good for him, man. So Good for him. Sick venue, great sound. Yeah, sketchy area. No lie. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I'm from still. Miami. I've been, I've been, I've been in sketch here, so it's okay. <laughs> but you guys have been. On, so last time we talked, it was right before this whole tour. Yes. You guys the first show back, a yes. people festival, and now you guys are on tour. Yes. So how has that journey been? Coming back on the Dude, road, van, balls, face, bodily fluids. It's crazy, man. And we got really lucky because. The guys from Combi Christ are all really fucking cool people. Like, they're, like, the nicest fucking dudes. Like, if you look, <laughs> Andy's right there. When, I'm not even going to lie. When I first met Andy, he's, like, this really big, buff, like, Norwegian dude. And I was just like, this dude is going to kill me, you know? And they're just, like, the nicest dudes in the world. Jamie, all of them, man. Just really nice guys. And it's, it's, it's a refreshing tour to be on because nobody is, like, all the bands are just different enough of, like, genres but it fits really well and the, the reception has been amazing man like and the tours been smooth sailing it's just like every day everybody's cool nobody's fucking like in anybody's shit everybody's respectful of each other it's all professionalism all day long it's it's fucking great man and it's it's nice to be out on the road again and playing shows and it's it's a good like it's a good feel for what like what's to come hopefully in 2022 when touring ramps up a little bit more for bands no, any tour stories happen? Anything fucking crazy happen? Like no. random shit? No, like no off the walls. Like a chicken flew inside the car and started attacking everybody. No, no. The only <laughs> the only weird thing that happened on tour so far was we we ran out of gas going to El Paso, Texas, because I guess there's like a stretch of a highway like for two hours that there's just nothing, nothing at all, nothing, nothing. No gas stations, no houses nothing and we like ran out of gas and this dude this super nice dude just like stopped brought like helped us out we told him what was wrong drove an hour back into town Damn. got us two five gallon gas tank gas cans filled up our tank and then came back and like put the gas in for us and didn't charge us anything Southern hospitality. Yeah, that guy was super dupe, super duper cool, man. Super cool, super cool, super cool. Dang. Yeah, insane for sure. Well, what's been the best venue so far? Because you guys are kind of like the almost like you're past the halfway point. You're like three core. I mean, mm -hmm. almost. You're getting close to the end, but not too close. What's been some of the best venues you guys have played at so far? Best venues we've played at so far. Honestly, this one's really sick. Like this venue is fucking amazing. I'd say this venue was cool. Um, and then there was a venue in West Palm Beach called Respectable Street. I thought that venue was really, really cool, too. The vibe was cool. Um, and then I'm really looking forward to... We haven't played there yet, but I'm looking forward to Brick by Brick. I heard hey. that place is really dope. Iconic. And a lot of my favorite bands have played there. So this is sort of like a... a like... Hitting the stomping ground. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it's like too a, bad you guys aren't stopping by Chain Reaction. Dude, uh, that's that's another one. Where is that at? I've heard of it. Yeah, that's man. Chain that, Reaction. That would be hitting true stomping. Yeah, grounds. bury your dead play there. So wherever bury your dead played, I want to play. 
And I, I was telling them off key about like some secret little food spots around. Well, not even so much. There's a great fucking barbecue spot right next to Brick by Brick. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's been amazing. Also a great sound guy, Colin. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm 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 excited to see what comes of that show. Well, so like now, like right when before all this happened, everything coming out, you guys have just released a brand new EP with Animal Instinct on there. Yep. How have you guys like? Are have you been writing music secretly on the way on the route here? Have you been like coming up with new ideas? Has oh. like being around all these other musicians sparked new ideas for new music? We ride? dude, we have like before the before the the pandemic even happened, we already had about six seven songs recorded, but between. 2018 and 2022 we'll have just about 21 songs recorded so yeah we've been writing a lot i mean like we'll go back to the studio in january to record two three more songs and then i think we'll wrap it up and that'll be all the songs we do and then we'll just keep releasing music so vocally though this is this is going more like understanding your vocal side of stuff because now seeing you twice from a people festival now here you give 120 fucking percent in everything you do. Yeah. Sounding amazing from festival to small intimate performance. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. So what vocal-wise do you do? Do you cheat yourself on like a strict regimen? I know like Lizzie Hill that eats like, you know, salty chips to keep her voice crisp or anything like that. What? Listen, like none of that shit works. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's I'm, – I'm nobody, first and foremost. Lizzie Hill is great. Hailstorm is great. I'm a nobody. But I'll tell you this right now. None of that shit works. All you have to do to take care of your voice is really simple. Warm up before you play. And don't strain your voice talking too much before you play. So keep conversation at a minimum. And drink Until lots. after. Yeah. And then drink lots, <laughs> drink lots of fluid. Just water. You know, just keep yourself hydrated and drink lots of fluid and keep, keep your vocal cords uh, moisturized. And, and that's, that's really it. All these other things like... Like, oh, honey and tea. That helps, like, soothe maybe a sore throat, but it does nothing in the grand scheme of things. There is no miracle cure for your vocal cords at all. Since the beginning of time till now, you go see an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and you have something wrong with your voice, they're going to tell you one thing. Shut up. Stop talking <laughs> and rest your voice. That is the yeah. only thing that works. Besides that, surgery to release to relieve like polyps and shit in there but besides like yeah so i don't have any regimen i all i do is i warm up before the show and then i just watch my conversation bef, bef, like before a show as well and then after the show you know i'm good i just keep hydrated and that's nice. it and you guys have a smart sleep so one of the few bands i've seen they don't have back-to-back -back dates they have actually a, you guys have a rest day yeah we like have some rest, rest days day. in yeah there. Like, yeah we have like so fucking days smart. off yeah so it's it's nice to have a day off and not like lose your mind you yeah know, for sure not going from like oh 10 hour drive oh here sound check yeah for sure for sure <laughs> well this is going to be like more i don't care whatever people's opinions on you know vaccinations and non-vax and COVID testing but this one directly affects artists, hands down. So a couple weeks ago, maybe I think it was last week, AEG Golden Voice, mm -hmm. they're a big ticket promotion. They yep. have venues all over across the U.S., including yep, yep. L.A. They just announced last week that they are only going to accept fully vaccinated people yep. in the shows. I regardless of what you're going to be, anti-vax or you're going to do a negative COVID test, Live Nation won't take that step. What's your? I, I personally think that's going to be a huge loss on them and also to the fans because people are still on the fence mm -hmm. whether to be vaccinated and just have the negative COVID test to come to a show. Yeah. How do you feel that affects the music industry if they go full vaccination? You know, I'm one of those people that, like, I just believe, like, private businesses can do whatever they want. You know, we live in a free market. Uh, you know, we're a, we're a country that's really big on no, you know, federal, you know, government interference and private business and stuff like that. And I, I respect that. I believe that, too. Our, our Constitution affords us the right to be free uh, from federal governments and all this other stuff. You know, the federal government only steps in one 100 percent has to right now. Private businesses can make whatever decisions they want based on their business model and based on what they feel is the best for their bottom line. Because don't get it twisted. I don't believe that 
any company, regardless of what kind of company it is, really gives a shit on whether you're vaccinated or not, like on that moral stance. Yeah. They care about money <laughs> and their profits and all that stuff. If it's affecting their profits, if it's affecting their ability to do more, they're allowed to make decisions based on that. Do I agree with it? I don't know. I don't I don't really feel I guess I don't really have any real like opinion on it because I'm vaccinated. It doesn't it doesn't affect me any, you know, like I have my vaccines. If you're not vaccinated, that's okay. That's your prerogative and you're free to do, choose that. Um, but AEG is a company that I guess is requiring people to be vaccinated and that's on them. What If they feel that that is going to make them more money in the long run and prevent a, a loss in revenue in the long run, then hey man, more power to you. But at the end of the day, hey, we live in a free market. The free market's gonna decide, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, the free market's gonna decide. It's gonna see if it works or not. I don't know. You know, I mean, it's it's their prerogative to choose to do so. Do I think you're alienating people? Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, like it's you. It's impossible to to make the argument that you're not alienating people. You are. Um, are the intentions in the right place? Uh, you know, I don't know. The, the the road to hell was paved with good intentions, I suppose. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. It's uh, it's it's a slippery slope. It's it's a yeah. weird time, man. It's it's really a weird time. It, it, it was more just because I'm looking at. I'm not doing it on the vaccination or negative vaccination or what. I'm looking at purely on, you know, how is it hurting Attendance. artists. Yeah, like, yeah. Like that's for like sure. that's that's the bread and butter. Like we've for already sure. been so long without live music. I think I think the way they made that that maybe they're looking at it is like, we want shows back really bad and in full force and we can't do that if breakouts and hot spots keep happening if they sort of require people to be vaccinated then there's a less chance of a like an outbreak to yeah. occur that's probably the way that they look at it uh you know is that the correct course of action man that's that much smarter people make those decisions than me. <laughs> uh, it's a very intelligent answer to go with it and very diplomatic answer. Appreciate <laughs> that. And I agree with that as well. It's it, it, it just, I know Ticketmaster and Live Nation won't do that step. Yeah, and you know, hey, they're a private business. That yeah. That's, that is their, that is their prerogative, yeah. you know. Both, I don't think, are wrong. Both, uh, there's, there's two roads to every means to an end, right? Yeah. So, so now I gotta also bring it around. We talked about it last time. The results went kind of against your favor. Do you still think taco is not a sandwich? Oh, dude, <laughs> taco is not a sandwich. I don't care what anybody says. I had some delicious tacos today. They are not a sandwich. Tacos are their own thing. They are their own thing. Then, no. Have you had In-N-Out? I have not had in and out yet, and Ooh. I can't wait to have some. All right, you got to hit that up tomorrow. We will. You got, to, you got time to hit that up tomorrow. We will. Now, after that, I'll come back around. Have you had Waffle House? Not Waffle. Sorry, Whataburger. Oh yeah, I love Whataburger. To, okay. Now but you're gotta, gonna you're gonna ask me what's better, in and out and Whataburger. We gotta see this. I don't know. I haven't had in and out yet. You gotta have in and out. But I am a diehard fan of Whataburger. So. <laughs> I don't know about that one, all right? He may change his answer once he has it and out. We'll see. We'll you see. Gotta get the, so you got to get a double-double with animal style. Double-double with? Animal style. Fries. Animal style. Okay. That's the only way to do it. All right, all right. That's the combo. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. <laughs> we'll see what's up. Well, dude, it's amazing to catch up with you guys. Dude, dude, it's great to catch up with two brother. Man, killed it. California Thank you. fans, he's Thank got you. new fans now. So please check out their latest EP. Pay attention to them on all social medias and everything because I keep tagging them. Their music, I'm already, I'm announcing it next week when this drops after. So they're Let's already on it. my bangers playlist of the year for singles and music of the year of 2021 because so much fucking rock music came out. But Animal Instinct is on that playlist. Yeah. So give it a fucking listen. Give the whole EP a listen. Check out these dudes. And they still have a bunch. You have a bunch of dates still left over. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so, a bunch of dates. We're, we're still on the road. <laughs> we're on the road for a while. Because you're so. going till like the end of the month, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. 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 So, please check them out. Definitely check them out in San Diego and rest of the dates. Call me Christ. Everybody else, definitely them. They're bangers. They're rippers. Michigan, 
hardcore. Josh Schroeder. Schroeder. Schrogan. Schroeder. It's. Um, nope. He corrected me. I've been saying his <laughs> last name. Josh, have you ever watched this? I have been saying his last name wrong for like 10 years. It's actually Schrader. Schrader. But it is not spelled like that at all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. And he does. He does. It's some weird Mennonite thing. Because he, he put his way in on the taco and sandwich yeah, yeah. thing, and he had yeah. a great educated so answer. So Josh Schrader, <laughs> tacos are tacos. Piss off, motherfucker. <laughs> he actually put sandwiches. Anyways. He did. Did he what? He did. He put tacos and sandwiches. Did he? Yeah. Oh, God. Come on, Josh. <laughs> I'm going to text his ass. All right, guys. Horns up always. Listen to them. Tag them. I'm doing everything. Always horns up. Take care, guys. Bye.